Hey everyone, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to bring you an update here, but before I get to this update, I want to say if you are looking for a trading account and you are new to the stock market, Moomoo does have a pretty good promotion going on right now. So if you go to the link in the comments and description section of this video, sign up for Moomoo and make a deposit. They do have this promotion going on where you can receive up to 15 free stocks plus one extra share of Tesla or Google. So if that's something that you're interested in, head to that link, check it out, head over to Moomoo and sign up and, you know, get some free stock. Hey everyone, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on ticker ACB or Aurora Cannabis. So big rip here on the day, up almost 8% right now. So you can see some wild price action here and a lot of volatility. This thing was down around the 43 cent mark and then it made this massive rip up here to over 114. So you know, about a 200% move there. So you can kind of see, you know, this is a perfect example of why I target these types of uh, penny stocks for short positions because when this thing makes a 100, 200% move, typically we see a massive dump and a massive sell off and that's exactly what we see here. So these are great short opportunities. And if things can get even crazier, like a 500% move or a 1,000% move, the gains to short it are even bigger. But this is still a good example, about a 200% move and then a massive sell-off and a massive dump. Now you can see here on the daily time frame, it found a good bottom here at about 53 cents. So on October 3rd, bounced off of that level, rallied up a bit, sold off again. Sellers pushed it down pretty good here. Um, to about 51 cents, but the buyers came back in and again, they're able to hold that level of about 53 cents. So I'd definitely be looking at that to the downside right now. That looks like a key support right now. Um, and if this thing does have another big move lower and it tests that level, I would definitely keep an eye there because if we get a close below 53 cents here on the daily, I could see this thing retesting the low of 43 cents. Um, and if it makes another big move to the upside, Let's say we get some crazy price action like this. I will definitely be looking to short this thing um, because yeah, these kinds of moves just don't really hold up. They're just kind of short term pump and dumps and you know, there's the pump and there's the dump. I was looking through their SEC filings and there's definitely some catalysts here to this big sell off. I mean, a 200% move is catalyst enough, but there's some other stuff going on with dilution that you know, definitely is a catalyst for a big move lower like we just saw you know coming from what 110 or so 115 all the way back down to 53 cents their latest SEC filing here they're talking about a closing of a 38.8 million dollars and that looks like Canadian dollars uh, deal financing including the full exercise of the over allotment option intends to repay remaining convertible debt balance saving almost 2 million in annual interest payments so there is a little bit of an adjustment here which saves them some interest payments. But if we take a look here, it says uh, ACB, the Canadian company opening the world to cannabis today announced the closing of its previously announced bought deal offering of 53.1 million common shares of the company's uh, common stock here. So that is a massive chunk of dilution there. Um, it says here, the gross proceeds include the full exercise of the over allotment option um, to purchase 6.9 million additional common shares of the company on the same terms of the offering. So if you put these two together here, you know, we're looking at about 59, 60 million common shares here. Um, statement here from the CEO, it is our intention to use the majority of the net proceeds from the offering to repay the remaining balance of our convertible notes at or prior to maturity, representing principal outstanding of approximately US 25 million. Pro forma the offering, but prior to any repayment of convertible notes, Aurora has a highly flexible capital structure with approximately 227 million of total cash available to support strategic growth initiatives and value accretive m and opportunities. As a result of the offering, we do not believe that we will need to pursue an at-the-market offering program for the medium term as we expect to deliver on our stated objective of being free cash flow positive in calendar 2024. So that is a statement there from the CEO, and we'll kind of see if these statements hold true. Will they turn into positive cash flows in 2024? If so, that would be great. But I would also like to see what their you know, projection is on actually coming through with positive earnings. Um, 
we can come in here to Yahoo Finance and take a look really quick. Let's kind of take a look at some of those cash flows and kind of how their earnings are looking as well. Because, you know, they're talking about next year having those uh, positive free cash flows. So let's come in here and look at the financial statements and let's come into the cash flow statement here. We'll look at the annual. Um, you can see from operations, um, they have improved quite a bit from 2020. So in 2020, they lost 337 million. Again, this is in Canadian. The last 12 months, they've lost 157 million. So even though it is still really brutal, losing a ton of money, they have improved that quite a bit if you look back to that uh, June 30th, 2020 quarter or the quarter that ended June 30th, 2020. It is a pretty good improvement. And then if you look at free cash flows, those have improved significantly as well. Because in this quarter, or sorry, this year ending June 30th, 2020, in free cash flows, they lost almost 700 million. And they have brought that down to losing 181 million the last 12 months. So, you know, they need to keep that up. They need to keep working to get those cash flows to a break zero. Um, let's take a look here at the income statement just to kind of compare, compare what's going on here. And um, yeah, the earnings, um, they have improved as well. If you look at the annual, they lost 3.3 billion uh, in 2020 in earnings. And they have shrunk that to only losing 1.7 billion. So, you know, hopefully the CEO is accurate there um, and they can bring those cash flows at least to a break even in 2024 if they don't hit positives. Um, but then, you know, the earnings would be the next thing to look at. You know, how do they get more efficient? How do they actually, you know, bring these earnings into a break even or a positive? Because that'll be the next step here. I mean, I'll say they definitely improved if we compare 2020 to the last 12 months. There's a big improvement. They just need to keep that trend going you know let's continue to shrink that loss shrink that loss shrink that loss that's what they need to work towards um, but i'll continue to keep you updated here on ticker acb or aurora cannabis please like this video please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed hit that notification bell appreciate you for taking the time to watch this talk to you soon